Okay, what I'd like to talk about now is .NET streaming data. I've gone ahead and created a project and of course a program in there just to kind of simplify things just a little bit. Uh, I'll do this for the next couple of examples. What I've got, got is a console application, COBOL console application, and I've uh, populated the repository with a uh, class for stream writer and stream reader. I've gone ahead and created uh, object references for stream writer and stream reader. I've also gone ahead and put in a couple of other uh, variables in here. Uh, this is peak result and of course my record. I'll talk about peak result in just a minute, but my record is there only to uh, capture data that is going to be read from a specific file. Now moving down into the procedure division, I have a uh, the invoke stream writer and with a new phrase here using by value and then the name of the uh, location and and name of the file that I'm uh, going to create and then of course I return the object reference for StreamWriter. The next thing I do is uh, write out some lines. Again this is the method that we use to write out some lines. Again I'm, I'm just creating uh, a couple of records out there. They're nothing too fancy or anything like that. And then of course as soon as I'm done writing those records I go ahead and close the file. The next thing I do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the file and, and read those records. So I invoke the stream reader again using the same syntax and all of that. The only thing that's really changed in here is the stream reader and of course returning the object reference for stream reader. Uh, make sure that if you lift this from above right here, if you copy this uh, like so, make sure that you change these two things, otherwise your results will definitely not be what you're expecting. So going down here, uh, I have set up a perform to go ahead and loop through uh, the file and play, read the records and display the records. Now, here's where we start to talk about this peak result. What peak result will do is it will actually check in, in the file uh, every time that, that you're there, check the relative position that you're in, and determine whether or not there are more records or more data to be read. Uh, and when there are no more records to be read, the value of peak result will always be returned as a negative one. So in this particular case, I'm basically saying perform this loop here until peak result is, is equal to negative one. And then what I do is go ahead and invoke the object stream reader and use the peak method and basically return the peak result. If the peak result is not negative one, let's go ahead and read that record and then return the contents of that uh, read line function, the read line method, to my record. And then, of course, I display the records. And if the value of peak result is, is negative one, then I basically drop down here and say, hey, all records are processed. I go ahead and close the file, and then I'm done with my program. This is a simple representation of how to use .NET streaming. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and build it real quick. So I'll build streams, and again, we'll take a quick look at the output and make sure that everything builds correctly. And it does. So now we're ready to go ahead and start uh, running this program. So I'll go ahead and say debug. I'll say step over, and uh, now it will go ahead and start at the process. Notice the command window opened up here. Again, I can go ahead and adjust this so that you can kind of see what it is that's going on. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start stepping through the records here or stepping through the data here. Now notice that when I go ahead and start into the invocations, I've got autos um, up and running here. One of the things that will happen is, is that as I start going here, you'll notice that autos gets uh, populated with a lot of information. Now uh, one of the things that I can do that I haven't shown you before is I can also go ahead and make sure that I add watch points or, and all of that for various data. So if I wanted to set a watch for my record, I could look at the data that's out here. Now keep in mind that this looks like it's segmented out here. Uh, it's segmented into what 64-bit blocks or chunks of data. You'll see data in here and I've allocated this out to be 132 uh, bytes out here. So you'll see information pop out here as well. But if I go back to autos, Again, you'll see all of the information is being stored in memory, all, all displayed out here. And this is all under the cover stuff here for, for .NET. Um, one other thing that you should know about autos is that it, when you're in, de in the debugger and you have autos up and running and, and open, uh, it does take a tremendous amount of, of system resource in order to keep track of everything. And as we start going through this, you'll, you'll actually see why. So 
uh, I'll go ahead and um, come back in here and I'll start stepping in in here and again notice that uh, object stream writer is uh, actually out here and you can see all of the information that is being kept track of by autos so I'll go ahead and start writing a few records out here so go ahead and write line write line write line and now we'll go ahead and close up the file right there like so and notice there are some changes here in in the autos now I'll go ahead and and get to the point where I'm going to start reading records so again I can go ahead and say invoke and now you notice that autos has changed again if I start going through and uh, stepping into the code here uh, there's a whole lot more things that are getting ready to happen now I'm gonna switch over to my watch right now and you'll see my record and as we start stepping through the file you'll actually start seeing the values uh, propagated into uh, the locals window on this this watch variable so as I go through here return the peak result okay so the peak result is not uh, negative one it this in this particular case it's actually a positive 82 I'm not sure exactly what positive 82 is but uh, we could go in and, and check that out if you you could go in and check that out if you had a mind to do so uh, negative one is the is the value that I'm looking for that basically says there are no more records to be read so I'll go ahead and and start stepping through the rest of that I've now populated my record here as you can see my record I don't have much data in there it's just record one if I hover over this you can see that all in um, my record right there I can just kind of collapse all of that so again it's real simple real easy to use I can start looking at the rest of these and to keep on displaying more records and uh, just kind of press on for there so we'll go ahead and finish this up real quick there's record two and now there's record three now at this particular point and I'm going to maximize this right here so that you can actually see how all the rest of this is working right now peak result is still 82 if I go through and step in again and do my next check on this peak result should be changed now to negative one so now I just dro drop through the rest of my if statement here and um, all of my records have been processed it goes ahead and closes the stream writer and now I've got my end perform and I'm all all finished that's a quick uh, example of, of uh, how to use the dotnet streams again this is an, an example program a sample program there's a lot more information on how to use stream reader stream writer again if you come over here and look into the dotnet framework uh, I have brought up the stream writer class I'll just go ahead and open that up I encourage you to go back and look at the documentation look at the methods out here again you see me re you look at the uh, methods for stream writer you see this methods for stream writer uh, we've used write line so I can go ahead and click on write line and you can actually see information about all of the things that you can do for write line it's very simple very straightforward this is not uh, very a very difficult um, technology to work with uh, as long as you know where to go to look to find out the find the information so enjoy uh, using stream reader and stream writer